And he starts this off a 3.21.1 patch just dropped into the PTU this time. Not EPTU, but PTU, and it's now available to all backers. This time, the testing focus is going to be three folds. It says here, tonight through the weekend, we will be running multiple events on the PTU for all backers. Friday through Sunday morning, Expo Halls will be running throughout this time for testing. And on Saturday at 9 a.m. MTD, they're going to be running a test for Jump Town 2 right after the Expo ends for about two hours. And on Sunday, November 12th at 2 p.m. MTD, they are going to run a six-hour siege of orison this patch comes with a few feature updates under the gameplay category they made it a crime to track the beam and own ship without permission under ships and vehicles they rebalanced the star runners atmosphere flight speed after mass adjust after mass adjustment under weapons and items the tractor beam vfx and ui polish pass this one comes with a lot of bug fixes so we're going straight into it they put in further fixes to help stop player corpses from clipping through planetary surfaces they fixed an issue causing grim hex main lift to kill players they also fixed an issue where the ar marker showing your assigned hangar does not appear they also fixed an issue where players are considered trespassing after completing a ugf mission destroying any ships near the facility they also fixed an issue where shops do not have any items in their inventory they also fixed another issue where there's a large visible hole in the terrain in New Babbage outside of the Commons Dome. They also fixed another issue where enabling auto gimbal causes fixed wing guns convergence to be set too close. I noticed this myself. They fixed an issue where a cargo UI marked from inside your ship appears on your HUD. They fixed an issue where the Kobe Blast weapons display glass is heavily frosted. They also fixed one where no hostile AI spawns and this is regarding arena commander vandal swarm at broken moon they also fixed another issue where the solanke ships are marked as nine tail sympathizers so that's been fixed they also fixed another issue where ships from solanke and brushwood platform can fall or clip into the environment making them inaccessible this is also for ch of orison they also fixed an issue where code on the barge doesn't open a shipping container they fix another issue where the towing head attachment leaves a visual duplicate after destroying and repairing it they fix an issue where the caterpillar can now be towed they also fix another issue where the tiger claw card can be quickly interacted with and picked up after they have been inserted into a card slot along with this is one client crash five server crashes one server deadlock crash and for those that don't know, my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can check out our Discord in the description down below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.